One of the coolest projects in computer vision is automatic number plate recognition. So we can use the Autolix models for basically just detecting the number plates. We get our bounding box around it. Then we can do an image cutout and throw it into an OCR model or some text extraction model that can recognize the characters and extract the actual license or number plate characters. This is a very cool application. This can be used in parking spaces, CCTV cameras, like monitoring the roads and all of those use cases. And it's a pretty cool one with a multi-step model or process where we have like a full pipeline. So we're going to see how we can run it in the code. We're going to take a look at some different options and then run some examples through. Let's just jump straight into the easy OCR GitHub repository here, because this is the model that we're going to use to extract the text from our cutouts. So the full pipeline is basically just we take our image. First of all, we need to train a model. All of that is done. You can grab the model in the description and so on. We have everything available, the code, all of it. So you can just use it out of the box and build more use cases or expand the project further. So what we're going to do, we take our image, we throw it through our Autolytix YOLO model. Then we get our bounding box around our license plate detections. What we're going to do is basically just crop out that bounding box. So we just only have the license plate with some margin around. Then we take that image, which is like a, just a very small image. We just take the bounding box, pass that through our OCR model, tons of different OCR models available out there. You could also use some vision language model. If you have internet access and so on, you can use the API calls to ChatGPT, Gemini, all those models, just throw it in there. You will get the numbers back. It's probably the best solution. It might be a bit more expensive and it also requires internet access. So this is a pretty good full pipeline with easy OCR, Autolytics, and then we have an automatic license plate or number plate recognition system up and running. So easy OCR here, you can use out of the box. It's only a few lines of code. I'm going to show you how we can do it. We have the full script available. We will both get our bounding boxes of the text that we're detecting and also the characters and a confidence score. Right now, we're only interested in pretty much just the confidence score and also the text that we are extracting. The bounding box, we get that from the license plate. We can't, we can't really just pass in the full image. We need to get our cutout of our actual license plate just to reduce errors, like get higher accuracy on the text extraction and so on, because it actually like needs to be relatively high resolution before we can read it. If a human is starting to struggle with act like reading it or clearly see what character it is, these models here are going to pretty much just struggle a bit too. The best approaches or the highest accuracies are the VLMs by far. So there's both pros and cons. All you have to do is just pip install easy OCR. You set the reader. You can have different languages that you use the reader for. Right now we just said it's English. It just needs to read characters. So letters and numbers. Then we throw in the image, read text. We get the results out and then we can just extract results and associate it to our license plate detection. So we need to run object tracking as well. So we get an ID, we run a detection, we get a tracking, then we get a cutout for our license plate, throw it through the OCR model, and then we associate that license plate extraction with our track ID, so we can track the cars driving around. So open up the code here, we have applied recognition system. First of all here, I'm just going to show you a pre-process video that I've done. And then we'll see how we can set up the pipeline. So for example here, 3066 MP-4, we get the correct extractions. We have the bounding box around it, and we also have the number. Here, for example, we can see that we're able to detect the license plate, but we're not able to detect the text inside of it. This is very, very low resolution, and maybe it was in the beginning. Here, it's still not able to read it with the OCR model. A VLM would definitely be able to read it here. So it depends on the use cases, and also if you have internet access. So here again, we get some wrong detections. Maybe if we get a bit closer, here we have a very clear view and we get the correct extraction as well. So these are some pretty cool use cases, even though the car is moving around here. Let's take a look at the code. And if you just take a look at the code here, we already have a model available just for license plate recognition. We have created a class. I'm just going to close all of this here so you can see what's going on. We have a terminal down here. Let's wait for that. All we have to do is just import ECOCR as we did from the GitHub repository. You can just pip install ECOCR, pip install Autolytics. We have everything. Torch, ECOCR, NumPy, and Autolytics. We have our automatic number plate recognition system with Autolytics class. 
we have our initialization function. So our constructor, we set our device. So it's either going to use the GPU or CPU, depending on what you have available. We create an instance of our model and we also create an instance of our OCR reader. We're going to use CUDA if it's available and we just extract English characters or text. Then we're going to detect our plates, which is the first step in our pipeline. We take our image as an input. We throw that through our prediction. We get the results out. We extract the bounding boxes. So right now we're only interested in the bounding boxes. You could sort it based on the confidence score and all of that as well. We extract the text. So what we're going to do, we'll take our bounding box and we will take our image. What we're going to do here, first of all, we just need to map it to integer values. Then we make our cutout here. So we're going to use slicing in NumPy. So we just only extract the actual number plate that we have to take the, the bounding box with our Ultralytics model. Then we convert it from BGR to grayscale image. So we just have one channel image. We throw that through our OCR reader. We get our text down and then we just strip down our text and join it together. So we have all the characters everything stripped and as a string. So only thing that I have to do now is just set up our infer video. This can work on any stream out there. Video stream, you can just specify zero here. It's going to run on your webcam or USB C camera, whatever camera you did you hooked up to your computer, RTPS stream, video file, even just a single image as well. We can specify the output path and also if you want to display the results while we're processing it or not. We set, our video we set up our video capture, we have a width, height and the frames per seconds. We write out to the video if you want to save it. Then we have our while loop, just running through all the images that we can load in from our capture, video capture with OMSV. We detect our plates, we get our bounding boxes out, we draw our bounding boxes with our annotator class from Autolytics, and we just extract it here. So what we're going to do here, just detect plates, it's going to run the full pipeline through as I was showing you up here. So then we detect the plates here, we get our bounding boxes, we create our annotator so we can draw our bounding boxes and also our text. Then we loop through all the bounding boxes that we detected. Maybe we have one, two, could be an arbitrary number of bounding boxes that we're extracting from our frame. So we need to loop through all of them and pass the individual ones through into our OCR model. You can swap out the OCR model here. You could also have a VLM call here, just going out to Gemini, OpenAI or all those providers. Then we get our text extraction, we have our bounding box, and now we basically just do need to do our annotation with the corresponding boxes. So this is just running update detection. You could run update tracking as well, and then just assign that to the ID, the text extraction that we're doing, and it might be a bit more robust. Then we only need to detect it once. We don't need to detect it on every single frame, only per track ID. We're going to display it. We're going to write it out to our video capture, and that's pretty much it. Then we can just throw it in here. So we have a, a car and before, and we're going to save it just here with an output path and we want to show it while it's actually processing. So let's open our terminal. Let's go into our directory. So we have our plate recognition. Then we have our Python number plate recognition system. Let's see it here. We should just load the model. With, if you run into any problems, just make sure to pip install it. Easy OCR, pip install Autolytics. I already have Autolytics installed. And that's how easy it is to set up. We're using CPU. It's processing the video here. It's downloading detection model. Let's make sure that we actually have the correct model specified. There we go. It has now downloaded the OZR model and we're pretty much good to go. It should be able to run the inference. We can't find the videos. We forgot to save the files. Let's rerun it. And then it has already downloaded the model and it will just run it directly. There we go. We can see NH320. So that's a pretty good detection that we're getting on this car here, but definitely test it out with the tracking and also with cars driving on the road. So we can at any time just press Q on a keyboard. It will terminate the program and we can try out one of the other videos. So we have this a car too. As we run it, you can also just run it on your webcam. I don't have any cars here in my studio, so that's pretty hard to do. So we can see here it's running real time, just running it on every single frame. We pretty much get real time performance, but you only need to do it if you run update tracking as well. Even it extracted like the first part here. So basically the contrary of the license plate as well, not for this specific one, but the other one, maybe we get it when it's a bit closer. So here BY, and then we have the AP and the numbers. 
this is pretty cool this is how easy it is to set up like we have less than 80 lines of code two models concatenated like this is a pretty useful pipeline where we get the autolytics detection models and then we do some further processing and analysis on the cutouts that we're doing from our detections hope you learned on this video here go ahead and check it out it's such a cool project and you can get it up and running in just a few minutes hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy learning